Hey guys, Al Lewison. Ken McClellan, hey guys. Welcome to today's Wealth Workout of the Day. Wealth Wild. Talking about money fears. Money fears. Money fears was a big one for me uh, in the early days, so uh, remember back asking my dad how much he earned for a living and got one of these ones. Oh. So uh, I was always taught that talking about money was evil and there was something wrong with it and that greed wasn't good. Um, but then I saw my you know, mates who, you know, in, in school it might be you know, Greek or Italian, and their families pulled together and bought houses together and did all these things and ran the family business. And there was this discussion about money th through, so I think they were learning about money a lot faster than us silly white kids were. It's um, changed through generations, hasn't it? Yeah, seriously changed. So I want to talk today about um, money fear. Um, I think uh, people say, you know, Greed is bad and money is evil. So, uh, having money enables you to make the world a better place. I can't see anything wrong with money when it comes to that circumstance. Money magnifies, it's a big one. Yeah. Money, money changes you, that's all, isn't it? Money changes you. And I, I believe that. So, if you're a prick, you'll be a bigger prick. If you're nice, you'll be nicer. So, plus we've got money for years. Um, I think one thing that's really important that we talk about a bit is, we've said it before in the wads, is that you're setting your kids up to understand the concept yeah. of money um, and value money. Um, and by that, it can be little things like um, pocket money, money box. Um, if they want something, they might get a little star chart that works, whatever it might be, it depends on the age of your kids. But they're starting to appreciate the value of money then in working towards it rather than you know abusing it or ignoring it or not talking about it. I sold a coffee table the other day, it reminds me of a story, I sold a coffee table. Got five hundred dollars for it on eBay. Hannah saw this what of yeah for hundred sitting there. A couple of days later, she was talking about um, buying her first car. And she goes, "You buy me a car, Dad?" I said, "I'm not going to buy your car." I said, "Went through the you know, which is standard nowadays. Every dollar you save, I'll put a dollar towards your car so you can get a good car." She yeah. goes, "What?" She goes, "You got five hundred dollars for a coffee table." So concept, yeah. <laughs> so concept of money. So back in this guy's day, all right. So I'm going to go to costume here, guys. Looking good. Good look. That's, back, that's mean about 10 years. <laughs> back in this guy's day, he would go to work and his wife would be at home looking after the kids. Sorry, this hair's bad. That looks all right. Yeah. So, looks good. He wouldn't, be <laughs> he wouldn't be at home talking about money. That was his domain. He'd have the worries of the world on his shoulders and he'd, he'd have no one to talk to about it. I think what's happening is as the time's going on, generations are changing softening up a little bit. It's becoming more of a thing where people are happy to sit around, probably not with extended friends and family, but their own families and start to talk about it and start to talk about money and get rid of those fears, I guess. Yeah, I think um, that guy you just had in your head reminds me of my year 10 maths teacher, Mr. Thompson. Yeah, if you're watching, Mr. Thompson. Tomo. Tomo. Um, so Mr. Thompson did an exercise. He tried very hard to do an exercise with us um, to teach us about investing. He said, all right, kids, here's the paper and you've all got $10,000, pretend you got $10,000 and you can invest in shares. See how they go over the next month or so. I this new tennis book. Yeah, it must be a lot of kids did this. I probably made the mistake of saying, this is the stupidest idea I've ever heard of when it comes to investing. So straight off the bat, I could realize that this was no different to gambling. Obviously, Mr. Thompson and I didn't get along too well after that, but I think it showed the difference of someone who'd gone through, and this is most people in life going through and really not having any concept of the idea of investing. And that's because we're taught not to talk about money. We're taught to just go to, to school, get a good job, pay the home home off, and then die. Yeah, you're right. It's don't talk about money, religion, politics, be it taboo, talk about other things. That's it. So guys, money fears, be humble, don't show it off in great, you know, don't buy Maseratis. Um, just, <laughs> I had to throw that in, so. <laughs> But get used to talking about it, get used to your kids talking about it and being around it. Have a good day. Cheers, guys.